54 seconds to go on the power play. Here's Bruyette cranking it up. Good speed by Bruyette going deep. Tried to go, and it's a rebound goal. It looks like it's going to be Ryan Patoni. Oh, flat-footed. Bruyette comes in, puts a backhander in on Tees, and Noam picks up Patoni on the rebound, and he squirts it through the five hole. Both Picard and Street went very deep to the net. And here we go. We're going to have Patrick Weller and Ryan Schnell. Weller has the shaved head and the mustache. Schneller has the wrist taped. Buckets off, center ice. Weller leads with a good left. Schnell was ready for it. Schnell comes back with a hard right. Weller is being very aggressive. Schnell on his knees gets back up again. They're kind of going around in a circle with the momentum swing. Now Schnell is trying to settle it. Schnell trying to switch hands. Weller is holding it off. Now Schnell gets rid of the elbow pad. Weller has a big right hand cocked. Swings and misses. And a good job by Schnell to change hands. Schnell is trying to rabbit punch over the top. Now it's like two offensive linemen bull rushing each other in football practice. Schnell gets the left hand free. Weller is waiting it out. I don't know if he wants the linesman. Schnell is not taking no for an answer. Schnell is coming along good right that time by Weller. Weller's a big guy, Obi. I'm going to want you to check out his height and weight. Schnell continues to work. That's an excellent fight with two big guys. And Schnell looks back at the bench, yells and screams, trying to get everybody fired up. Ryan Schnell is going to get popular fast with it, with efforts like that. Raising his hands in the air, imploring the crowd to get into it, and he, they do after that little tilt with Patrick Weller. Tail of the tape, Tom Weller, 6'3", 210. Ryan Schnell, 6'3", 225. I'm going to give that, I'm going to give a split decision. Three straight power plays, and they converted on the middle opportunity. Here's a rush back, it's McDonald, and now we're going to have a fight. It is Sill and Mitchell. So Zach Sill against Garrett Mitchell. Zach, who Mitchell comes out throwing some uppercuts. Sill is waiting. Oh, Sill with a rock. I'm sock. I'm left. Oh, Mitchell's going to have to get out of there. This is a mercy killing. Zach Sill is doing Led Zeppelin drum practice on Garrett Mitchell's face. Oh, Sill with a meat cleaver. Left after left. Mitchell's down for the count. What a fight. What a job. A one-sided decision for Zach Sill. Let's hope Mitchell's okay. So I don't know if he's going for repairs. That nose must be bleeding badly. It, it, it looks, oh yeah, he's a mess. What a fight by Zach Sill. I hope Zach didn't hurt his hand with all those punches landing. You don't see a fight like that very often. Own as much of a fighter. He's 5'11", 195 from Regina, and they're showing some of the replay there. Sill just tattooing. Garrett Mitchell. Oh, I mean, give Mitchell credit. Again, we've had some guys get beat up pretty bad this season by Steve McIntyre. The Norfolk guys coming to mind just hanging in there. Give these guys credit to take these beatings. So now Schnell comes out of the box with Weller. Their five-minute fight made your serve, but Zach Sill just going to town. So the Penguins really doing a good job with the fisticuffs. Now they've just got to get things going on the scoreboard. These will be five-minute fights for Sill and Mitchell. And it's always fun to see your guy do that well in a battle like that. Zach Sill long a fan favorite his third year here, and Mitchell just in wide open. Williams waits, doesn't want to just waste a shot. Lifts one to Lurg. Here's a play in the slot. Back to a play. Ben Street scores. Are you kidding me? Far side blue line. Two Hershey Bear forwards come up top too high, and he gets it across both their sticks and near side from there. And two Bears tic-tac-toe, and Street finishes up with a top corner shelf shot. So seven minutes and three seconds into period two. Ben Penguin's not nervous. Some slap passes up and out of the zone. That time, Ryan Craig got decked by Kondratik. I don't know if Kondratik may have hurt himself. Hershey's got a chance here. Penalty coming up. Tyson sticks one aside. And now Bortuzzo with a hit. And Kane is going to jump Bortuzzo. So Boyd Kane is going to get an instigator. And Ryan Craig in there as well. These are two teams that just don't like each other. And the Bears, we knew a makeup call was going to be coming, Obi. And now it looks like Hershey is going to have the original power play. But Boyd Kane took a run at Robert Bortuzzo after the whistle, after Bortuzzo had made contact with a Bear. Good speed. Taking it deep. Mormina and Lurg covering on the perimeter. Bork up on high. Man in the slot. Here's a shot by Patoni, and he scores. It deflected right in. It looked like Brian Lurg got a piece of it. Four, and the Penguins will hop on their power play in another 21 seconds. Perfect angle here. Lurg came out to challenge the shot. 
It went right off Lurg. It deflected up over the pad of Brad Hard on those far boards. And now Penguins going to have to backtrack for Tuzo with an excellent read. Ford coming two on one. Tried to scoop a shot up. Now Walker taps it ahead to Craig. This could be good. Minute 19 to go on the power play. Craig blows by the forward. Back checking. Trying to play defense. Bruyette coming over to help out as well. Good steal. Here's Walker trying to cut to the net. Walker flipped the shot over by Holpe. There's a steal by Dupre. Good spinorama move. Kept it onside. Lurg back on the point to Picard. Now it is Walker. Top of the circle. Lurg will sweep it behind the net to Craig. 54 seconds to go. The Penguins need to move, and they need to move now. Dupre, far point. Goes to the middle. His shot is deflected. Walker keeps it alive. Picard spins in. Finally recognizes the puck. Craig, a tap give. Picard working with Walker. 39 seconds to go on the power play. Walker has a look. Walker's shot deflects through. Picard gets a bouncing puck rebound. Near wing hash marks. Across the way, Walker holds, kicks it across to Prey, rips a shot. Hopey a save. Loose rebound in the crease. And the Bears coming away. And now what do we have here? Lots of pushing and shoving. The Bears penalty kill is really frustrating the Penguins and Mr. Prey drops it back to Williams. Two seconds to go on the power play. Here's a lob pass to Hill. Peterson scores! What a goal! Nick Peterson! A spinorama! Unbelievable! 116 to go. The place is electric. I don't think it's going to be a power play goal, but who cares, Obi? The Bears thought they had it cleared. The puck was batted out into thin air. Score the first even strength goal of the hockey game. Ben Street barreling through. Hope he went for the poke check. Peterson had the presence of mind to stick with it. And now Tuza Wild and Wilkesbury. And the place is going bananas. Just how we were talking about the breaks not going away. Tough first touches. Well, the break goes this way. And what a move. For Nick Peterson, back, forehand to backhand and just tucking it around. Christian Hansen. Hansen drops one to McFlicker. McFlicker's shot is blocked, but not out of the zone. That time, two Bears collided. That was almost a Keystone Cops moment. Penguins have played two minutes into the overtime, and it's been all Bears so far. Good hit that time by Picard, as Weller didn't like it. Excellent gutsy hit by Alexander Picard. Picard's going to come off, and Williams leading a strong rush down the right wing side. Williams going deep. Bortuzzo is sneaking in. Now coming back the Bears' way. And finally, Williams with a chance to make up for it. He scoops a bank pass ahead. Here's Colin McDonald. He's on side. Man is in front. Now hope he flubbed away the pass. The net comes off the hinges. Lob pass ahead to Williams. Williams had trouble hanging on. Sill coming out to help out. And the Penguins' Carl Sneep is there to stand up his man at the blue line. Sneep, double D crossover to Bortuzzo. 35 seconds to go. Penguins want to move. The Bears are defending. Two, two men on the blue line. Here's a rush. Schneep is on side. Lob pass ahead for Williams. Williams takes it deep. Looking for a rotation give. Williams spins around. Will he keep it alive? No, the Bears are going to steal it. And with 18 seconds to go, Bruyette's going to smack one deep. Back the other way, it's Zach Sill. 14 seconds. Sill had a tough first touch. Bork keeps it alive. Across the way. Eight seconds to play. Hershey's got time. Back on the point. It is Bruyette. His shot is blocked. Caroms into the corner. Two seconds to go. One second. There's a slap shot. Thiessen there to make a save. So the Bears clearly had the better of it in overtime. But now we go to a shootout from Lloydminster, Saskatchewan. Goes against Weathersfield, Connecticut. Mack with good speed. Straight ahead at the goaltender. Hope he came way out. Mack holds it, shoots, and lost control of the puck. Hope he with a good pad save. An edge on the puck. And Hope he did a very good job of waiting McDonald's. And he is a very talented guy. He's coming in. Little slow hesitation move. Now he walks in deep. Holds, deeks, fires, and scores. In the crowd. He's a lefty. And Lurg comes along. Cuts out right. Hope he comes way out to get him. Lurg deeks the shot. Backhand lifter in the top of the net. Oh, that was fancy schmancy. Brian Lurg, who scored a gorgeous shootout goal to clinch it in Binghamton. That was a biggie. Now you'd like to see Thiessen pounce right back into the saddle with Hershey's one for one. This is their second shot. McFlicker with speed. Cuts out to the right. Brings it back. The left hand of the puck started to dribble across. And Thiessen denies it. And what's he got, Obi? Just his second shootout attempt this season. So here's Ben Street. Good speed. Comes straight ahead. Deeks it back. Hand a shot off a goal post. Oh, the Penguins. I mean, he's a righty from Waltham, Mass. Played Division Three. Moves forward. A coin. Deeks the shot and puts it right upstairs. Beat Thiessen clean on the glove side. 
Not mathematical time yet, but if psychologically in the way this thing is going, you'd really like to see a goal from the right-handed shot of Jason Williams. Williams, a veteran, calmly come out. Hope he comes way out. Williams fakes on the turnaround. Lost control. Did not get the shot, so... Ford comes straight ahead down the left wing side, pulls it back. Thiessen comes across with a nice save. Holpe likes to come way out. Peterson, a right-handed shot, scoops way out to the right. Now he's slowly moving in. Peterson waits. Deke shot, and it's a save. Holpe wins the game. Peterson was robbed on the doorstep, and the Bears just one goal on five shots, and Hershey celebrates a win. The Penguins get a nice point out of it, but Hershey gets the win. Let's go back to the studio. We'll come back and recap it. The Bears win, and now Ryan Schnell having some words. This could get weird. Hershey's coming across the way. It is a win for the Hershey Bears, and Schnell wants in on Mitchell. I'm not sure what this is all about. Let's take a break. We'll recap it for you afterwards. The Bears win in a shootout. You're listening to Penguins Hockey right here on the mountain. Are you a candidate for surgery? Hold on. You might be a candidate for minimally invasive surgery. Consider the Center for Advanced Surgery at Wilkes-Barre General Hospital. Compared to traditional... Back in the day, families would...